The other day, a coworker asked me to do something that I really didn't want to forget. So uh, I wanted to make some kind of sticky note for myself uh, that I could just see on my screen to remind me, make sure you do this thing. So what I did at the time was I opened up a new window, I put it into floating mode, cleared it out, I bumped up the font, and then I typed my message, which was uh, review that PR, right? Review that pull request. And then I just threw it over in the, uh, the corner of my screen. So I thought that was, you know, that was okay. Uh, but I started thinking I could probably make my own sticky notes with BSPWM, which is my window manager and my terminal alacrity. So uh, that's what I've done. So let me just open up Rofi here. So Rofi's my uh, application launcher. It's a little small. I, I apologize for that. So if I, uh, if I type sticky note and then the message, uh, so my message is going to be do that thing like that, do that thing. And I hit enter and look, I've got myself a sticky note. And if I go to a different screen, so if I go to a uh, different um, window here, right? So now I'm on some other window, this thing is gonna follow me around, okay? A few other things, you'll notice that it's yellow, you'll see no cursor, and you'll see that it looks like uh, it was written, um, you know, with a marker or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how I did how I did this, uh, it's pretty simple. And if you, uh, if you have a better way of doing something like this, please let me know, always looking to learn. Okay, it starts off pretty simple. I have a shell script called Sticky Note. Uh, let's take a look at it here. It's very, very simple. So I first give it a path for a config file, uh, and I'll show you what that actually is soon. I give it a path uh, for a sticky note uh, temporary file, and then I echo out. So I'm taking all the additional arguments given to the script uh, to this sticky note file, right? So I'm gonna say, so if I type sticky note, that's the name of this program, and then sticky note, and then let's say some arguments like do the laundry, do the laundry, those are all going to be uh, echoed out into this sticky note file. Finally, I call Alacrity, which is uh, my terminal emulator. So I call Alacrity, but I give it a custom config file. And we're gonna look at that in a second. And uh, so that custom config file is the one that I set up right here. Okay, so, so far, uh, pretty simple. So now if I actually look here in my Alacrity config directory, I have Alacrity .yaml, that's my normal Alacrity uh, config file, but I also made my own custom sticky notes.yaml. So that's the one that we're gonna be using here, right? So anytime that I open up uh, Alacrity with sticky notes, um, it's going to use a different config file. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, sticky notes.yaml. So uh, a few things here. Right away, I'm setting an environment variable, which you're gonna see why I need that later on, uh, called sticky note, and I'm just putting yes, any, anything would work there. Next, I'm setting the window dimensions. Um, so I don't want it to be too big, I want it to be sticky note size, right? So I want it to be this size, right? Um, I want some padding around it. I'm also giving it a custom class name. So here, it's called sticky note, and now, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want these to be transparent, but my terminals normally are. So I give it a different class name, and that way my uh, compositor won't uh, make this thing transparent too. Next, to tell it which, uh, which shell to use, uh, it's gonna use ZSH, which is my, my default shell. Um, I put no history because I don't want any history on these sticky notes. Then I'm using a font called Permanent Marker, which is a Google font, but I downloaded that from the uh, Arch user repository, I just got all the Google fonts in one big package. I bump up the size, right? So this is gonna look a little bit bigger than my normal font, uh, and it is permanent marker. Next, uh, I have colors to make it look like a sticky note, right? So I've got the blackish color for the text, yellow for the background, and then selection uh, and the cursor and everything are, are made basically invisible by making them also yellow. So that's all there is to it. The next important thing is because this is going to be running ZSH, I don't want it running the entirety of my ZSH file uh, when I'm running a sticky note because that I do a whole bunch of other things in my ZSH file, which uh, wouldn't make sense for the sticky note. So I have a check right here at the beginning, uh, which checks for the environment variable sticky note. And uh, that's the one that we set up here. So if that variable exists and it will only exist uh, using this command, then first PS1 equals nothing. So that's setting my uh, my prompt to nothing, right? So normally uh, when you are at the terminal here, 
right? This is my this is my prompt right here. So I'm just setting this to, to be nothing because I don't want a prompt for my sticky notes. Uh, next, I'm going to cat out the uh, the file that we, we built earlier. So if you look at here, uh, I took all the arguments and put them into a file. So we're just spitting out all those arguments uh, into the, the console here. And then we're returning so that we don't run the rest of my ZSH file. Okay, so one more important thing for this uh, sticky note uh, application, which I showed you earlier, right? So sticky note, uh, hey, Tom, I can make that like that, right? So this thing is going to follow me wherever I go and it's floating uh, by default, right? So the way I have that set up is in my BSPWM uh, RC file. So I set up a rule that says that, uh, okay, if the class of the application is sticky note, remember I changed it from alacrity to sticky note in the uh, config file, then I want it to be floating uh, I want it to be sticky, right? So that'll means it follows me around and I don't want a border because sticky notes in real life don't have a border. All right, so how would I actually use something like this? I'm not even sure if I really am gonna use this. Uh, I may never end up using it, but here's how I imagine myself using it. We'll see if I do. Uh, I'm going, I'm typing some code, I'm working through something. Then I realize something totally unrelated to this code, um, but something that's important enough that I, I have to make sure I don't forget to do it before I turn off my computer. So in that case, I would uh, open up sticky note, write down the important thing that I have to do, feed the dog, and then uh, there we go. And then I would just throw it over here in the corner of the screen. So I'm gonna see that and before I power off, uh, I'm gonna know, okay, I still gotta feed the dog. Uh, it doesn't get lost in some kind of to-do list or something like that. Okay, that's it. Uh, if there's a better way of doing any of this, please let me know, I'm always looking to learn. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out. I will get back to you. Okay, bye.